Hey guys, Kid Criminal here today, and today I've got an app review of Rope and Fly for you. Okay, so here it is. So let's get right into this. Uh, if it would work, there we go. And as you see, here's the start. Go here straight away. It just loads up very quickly. I like that. You got the options here. All you do is change the color of your Spider-Man dude. Got help, which basically tells you how to play the game, what to do. And then you've got play, and here you've got two modes. You've got speed mode, which is just 30 seconds, and you've got free mode. What free mode is, is if you go into normal or hard, you can save your score, and you can also train. And you can't save a high score while you're training. Okay, so let's go into normal. Okay, whoops, I just died. That wasn't a very good start. Okay, let's play again there okay and then to let go you just touch the screen again and keep going and what you're trying to do in this is get as far as you can uh, where's the pause button don't think there is one up here you can see the distance going up and if you hit the floor at any point even with the touch of your foot you will die straight away I see there's my distance and see uh, when you die it shows you your personal best and the distance you got now and you can also submit your high score or back to menu so let's go back to play and let's go into speed mode which is just quick 30 seconds and you're trying to get as far as you can in those 30 seconds now this game is very good I do come back to it all the time quite a bit although it is there's not much to the game but it is quite addictive you do keep coming back to it just trying to beat your high score so overall I would give this app a 3 out of 5 I think if they added a few more features I think it would be much better and have a lot more replay value okay guys that's it Don't thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe peace